Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up MetaTrader 4 for a strategy that I use to catch a lot of pips on the one minute. So as you can see, how price pulled away from the EMA. And when it did that, I placed buys. And then when it got ready to go back up, I went into profit. So I want to show you how I set this up first. Let me take some of my profit. All right, all goes. Okay. So as you guys know, when you first get um, MetaTrader for the app, it's gonna give you white bullish candles and black bearish candles. Now you can change this color to whatever you like. I like to make my bullish candles um red and i like to make i like to make my bearish candles red and i like to make my bullish candles blue so i'm going to show you how i set that up all right so the first thing that you will need to do is come over here go down to settings go down to you see colors and I like to have my background as black. So I'm gonna make that black. Foreground meaning all your text, like your um your time, your date, and your price. So I'm gonna make that white. I don't wanna see my grid, so I'm gonna make that black the same color as my background. Volumes, that's gonna be like whenever you enter a trade and you go to your chart, it's gonna say buy or sell, and it's gonna have a dotted line all the way across of where you the price that you enter in on so i'm going to leave that alone as green for bar up this is going to be your wick and border color so i'm going to make that a uh, a dark blue and then i'm going to make um the actual body of the candle a lighter color so i'll go with I split this one. All right, for my bar down, which is the wick and the border, I'll go with a dark red. And then for the bare candle, which is the body, I'll go in with a lighter red, okay? I wanna make my bid and ask price orange. And voila. That's how I have my setup. Pretty, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna start working on our indicator. So go ahead to the indicator. We need a couple moving averages. So you need the nine, the 20, the 50, and the 200. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up now. It already starts you off with one, so just go ahead and make that 10 to nine. You wanna change your method from simple to exponential pixel three and for nine I'm gonna make mine white hit done voila let's go back in add a moving average you want to make this one 20 exponential pixel three and change that color to red now I'm gonna add the 50. Make that one blue. And then lastly, the 200, which we're going to make green. And that's how you set up your EMAs. Next, we're going to work on the R side. So click over here and work on our levels. So our levels are going to be 14, 25. Add another one. We're going to make this one 50. So 
75 and lastly 84 so 14 that's going to be I'm going to set it up as time to buy over so Uh-oh. And... Um, you go like that, hit that. Now you can see how I have the 75s overbought. Time to sell, oversold, time to buy. And these are kind of our buy, our buy zone and our sell zone. All right, that's how I set up my um my RSI. Now the last one you don't have to do, but I like to use the Icky Mobile Cloud, however you pronounce that. So unlike on Trading View, here you cannot just select um, none. So I'm going to make the ones that I don't need black so that it fades into my background you'll still see it but you won't see it as much so the first one we don't need the second one we don't need and then the last one we don't need so now you have you're left with the up and the down so for up I want to make that white and for down I'm going to make that gray and that's the cloud so I don't like how price is so close, like the candles are so close to the price numbers. So what you want to do is you want to hold price until you see or tap it twice. Let's see. Is it tapping it twice? Is it hold? Okay, it's hold until you see the dot line and then you kind of want to move it over as much as you want. And then you want to um, select it until the dot line is gone. Now, you can actually move your candles over and still have some space to the right side. So then that way, if you want to use tools to kind of mark up a triangle or shapes or whatever you need, you have that space now to be able to do so. So this is pretty much how I set up. Um, so I know that, you know, the way I use the cloud, I'm not too familiar with it, but I know that like if it's below it, I look for sales and if it's above it, I know that we're in a buy. But the um, way I used the strategy where you saw me um, closing out my trades earlier was that when price, let me go to the five minute. All right, so you see here how right here you have the red and the white EMA. When price pulls away from it, whether up or down, that's when you start looking for sales and buys. So if price moves downward away from the EMAs, you're looking for buys. So you want to start putting in your buys so that in that way, when price starts to go back up, you're going into profit because price always goes back to the EMAs, right? So what I did was when price started to come down like this, I placed a bunch of buys and then when price started to shoot up, I went into profit and then I held it until you saw me get out. So like the same thing, price is now currently um, going up. It's not far away from the EMAs just yet. You want to wait until it goes up. I also, that's when the RSI comes into play right you want to use that as your guide to know if it's oversold or overbought at a time so right now i don't feel like it's far away but when it does you can start placing sales and then when price drops you're going to profit so that's pretty much how i use this strategy i try to only use buys some people they let it pull up and then they look for sales but for me i want it to kind of come back down below the emas so that I can get in for more buys. The reason why is I go to like the four hour chart and I see the overall direction of the market 
and if you look on the four hour it's clearly oversold and prices should be moving up right now so we can even look at the one hour it's oversold 30 minute it was oversold and it's still moving up so pretty much all of the time frames are showing that price is um, moving upward. So I wouldn't want to go in for a sale and then the trend is an uptrend and then I get stuck in a sale and then price just continues to go up, never to return to like my sale price, my sale price. So to be safe, if the market is trending up, you look for buys and if the market is trending down, you look for sales. So this is my setup and I hope you learned something from um, this setup. So when it pulls down away from EMAs, you place buys and then when it goes back up, you're in profit. Just like this, it pulled away from the EMAs going up, that means you place sales and then when it comes back down, you have profit and yeah, that's how you use it. I would say back test it, use it on demo, and see if this strategy works for you. It has been a lifesaver for me. Hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to show you the profit that I made from the trades I closed earlier using this strategy. Okay, I found this strategy on YouTube. I believe it's from Forex King. I'll leave the link in the description for the video that I watched. Okay. You don't have to use this strategy alone. You can just combine it with a strategy that you already use. That's what Forex is about. You know, finding things that work for you, combining them together to create a trading style, to create a trading strategy. All right. It's almost like going on YouTube, watching a few videos for a certain recipe, and then taking things that you like about those recipes, substituting those ingredients that you don't like, and creating your own recipe. All right, that's exactly how Forex is. So just, you know, keep having fun with, with Forex. Don't give up. Keep trading. Keep finding new things that you can um, use to make your strategy better. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.